Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see right behind me, this is the iMac 2011 model, okay? So recently, one of my clients, he does have issue with uh, the boot camp. So what happened was, I uh, had Windows system on it, okay? It was pretty good, he used it for ages, a lot of information in it there, and suddenly, system is not booting correctly. So now, anyhow, to retrieve the data, and that's the reason right here, okay? So today, in this video, I'm going to show you how to retrieve data from any old iMac, okay? You don't need to have any sort of software, that's the first thing. You don't need to have any uh, special skill or knowledge about data recovery and stuff like that. It pretty much plug and play, okay? So if you have a question like, what about if my bootcamp account has the login password, would I be able to get my data back? Yes, you can. But remember, you do it only for yours, okay? This is only for the educational purpose, so take it easy. So first of all, we need to locate what is the hard drive is. So this old iMac normally does have 3.5 inch SATA hard drive right inside behind the screen, okay? And as you can see, this is quite bulky, right? It's such a big one and quite heavy. It's not easy to lift it up, okay? So we need few correct tools to perform this repair. That's the most important things. First of all, you need to know this panel doesn't have any screws, right? It has super strong magnetic to keep it on place. So we don't need any screwdriver to open up the top panel, but we need the suction cups, okay? So I was able to get this sort of suction cups this sort of suction cup from um, online, I had it anyway. If you don't have, you can just get it from eBay or Amazon. It's super simple with the ring and stuff so we can pull this out. And then we need two types of screw driver. Don't ask me which size, just check online like which um, size of it. I'm going to pull this out. Okay, so first of all, let's get into the point. I'm gonna stick in here, as you can see, and then I'm gonna stick right there. And then, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start pulling from one side, as you can see, okay, like that, it's simple, and just take this out, you can see there is no screws, and keep it in a clean surface, okay, somewhere, I'm going to keep right here, this is the safest place. So once the top panel has removed, we need to open up four and three, seven screws, four in the left hand side, and three on the right hand side, that's what I believe. And the screws are right next to the magnetic field. So make sure you do have a long nose plier or might be a tweezer to hold it, as you can see. Uh, because of the magnetic field is quite strong, it pulls the screws. So I need some help uh, with the long nose plier or the tweezer. And once the seven screws removed, pull this one from left hand to right hand side but be careful there are lots of flax okay and this is the shortest one so first we'll take this out and then we'll check what we could do all right so it would take the fingertips to pull this out there is a little prong in here so we'll try to squeeze it if two person would be easier because for one person it's pretty difficult to hold the screen and pull the cable which is high risky okay but let's try it. It's removed. Now there are more uh, flexes connected, the LCD panel one and the power source for the screen. Okay, but we're not gonna remove any other connector rather than that one. What are you gonna do? Instead of uh, taking out, we're gonna take out these two screws to remove the actual hard drive or SSD, whatever you say. Okay, so this hard drive or SSD secured with two screws only. Okay, so we're gonna remove that one. As I said, automatic screwdriver does help because we don't need to rotate our hand. First, disconnect the SATA connector and the SATA power lead and then open this app, two screws and it would be absolutely free and we can pull this actual victim SSD or hard drive out to retrieve the data. Okay, so this is the part one. If you know already how to 
take out the hard drive you don't have to watch it anyway okay and now this hard drive we're going to connect into different pc or mac so if you want to retrieve the data from bootcamp make sure you connect this drive to windows pc but if you want to retrieve data from mac or ios then you need to connect into the iMac or MacBook Pro or Mac here. Okay, so pretty simple. Let's connect and do rest of the job. Okay, uh, this is SSD converter anyway. There is SSD inside. So as you can see, this is the actual uh, SSD uh, converter. I got it from my iMac to retrieve the data. If you do have, let's say, 3.5 inch SATA hard drive, you need a this sort of caddy that you can see right next to the monitor. Okay, uh, let me show you how to connect and everything. Let's say if you do have SATA SSD like that, then you don't need such a big converter. You can just buy this sort of basic converter from Amazon or eBay. That is called SATA to USB. Once you have it connected directly to the SATA connector, and the other USB part goes to any sort of desktop. Okay, so remember, if you do have the bootcamp into your Mac system, then you can retrieve the data by connecting into Windows computer. But if you would like to retrieve any data from Mac OS, then you need to connect it to another donor, iMac or MacBook Pro or Mac here, whatever. Because of we are retrieving the data from bootcamp, okay, so we're gonna connect into the uh, desktop machine and we'll locate the file. So I recorded the screen, the whole screen, how I done it. Let me show you into the main screen. All right, so now, as you can see, there are two partition. One of them, my external drive, another one, my C drive, okay? So if I connect the SSD that taken out from the iMac, it would pop up right here, as you can see. All right, that's the one. It says boot camp, if you look at it carefully, okay. So if you are able to see this partition, double click on it, and then try to find the folder is called user, okay. At the same time, um, I'm gonna get into this PC and open up the destination drive where I'm gonna copy every single thing, all right? So let's open the user first. This is the one. And as you can see, there are two account, one of them user, another one public. So all the data should be in user section. Click here. Once you click here, it's gonna be take a little bit of time. It's gonna fill up the actual bar. Because of I previously opened it, that's why it opened up straight away, okay? So there are the everything, as you can see, it says desktop, my documents, downloads, and everything. So if you do have any data in Bootcamp uh, account user, then you can find right there. And when I well, clicked on the desktop, I can see there are the same file that I left before the iMac broken down. So those are the files we're going to back it up so now i'm going to get into my external drive where i want to save the data and i will create a folder so let's open up the new folder and write it down like kind of boot cam backup or whatever you like it's up to you and then open it up and inside i'm going to create another folder which is called desktop so if I create desktop, I'm going to copy every single thing from the desktop to the desktop. So it's not going to mix up all the files and folders. I'm going to select all of them um, and then I'm going to copy and paste in there. And there are some icons, you know, like application kind of, you know, WhatsApp and then PDF or whatever it is. Uh, those not going to be copied because those are just a shortcut. So let's select it again and then try to copy all of them. Copy, don't cut it. And then we're going to get into the destination folder 
and we're going to copy okay so that's the procedure you need to do one by one it takes time if uh, your actual you know victim drive uh, hard drive then it would take even much longer time but my one was ssd 2.5 inch into the 3.5 inch converter so it didn't uh, take that long and then i'm going to create another folder and whatever in the document section i'm going to copy all of them so let's create another folder and rename it with the documents and then we can copy every single thing in the document section so this is the way you need to copy everything and i will carry on until the end and i will open up a couple of random files to see if the files are not corrupted or if it is working properly or not so stay with me and see until the end All right, so let's open up one of the file and see if it does work. It's absolutely fine. Everything is working. I tested video, audio, and the PDF file. So that's the way you back up your data, retrieve your data from your iMac. If you do like this video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I hope I'll see in the next one. And still, if you do have any question, leave it in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.